have your attention. All right, so today, thank you. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, and reading a story called Are Electronic Devices Good for Us? And uh, <clears throat> what you're going to be doing through that is quoting accurately from the text. And to do that, you need to read the story, Are Electronic Devices Good for Us? And you're going to find and write the pros and cons of electronic devices. So they're going to give you two, they're going to give you a, a point, and then they're going to do a counterpoint. And so they're going to say what is good about it, and what is uh, what they feel is a problem with electronic devices. All right, so we're going to read first, and then from, from this, we're going to be able to make a decision as to what we believe. Do we think that electronic devices are good for us? You will get to make that decision. So everyone should be open up to what page? Can you tell your neighbor what page you should be at? 79. 78, 79. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 
better using electronic devices or not. I'm going to put up a statement, and so you either are agreeing with this statement or you're going to disagree with the statement. So let's read that. So you did some reading from your text, from this article. You wrote your notes. You wrote that you were either for it or you were, or actually it was from the text, that there was something for it. There was also the counterpoint against. And so what you're going to do is decide now, do you agree with the statement? We're going to have two sides. You have to go to that particular side. We're going to split our room into half. And so, those who are, those who agree with this statement will be on this side. And those who disagree with this statement will be on this side. And we're going to push these three desks together so we can make like a wall. We're going to divide our space. All right? All right. So, may I have your attention? We're going to have our debate. I am your mediator. I am going to announce who will go first. If we, I need to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So if there is a problem, that I can make this a peaceful discussion. This needs to be a peaceful discussion. We use our talk frames and talk moves. There are a few rules. One, when you speak, you need to project your voice so others can hear you. Because we have people all the way down at the end. The second thing is, after someone speaks, you have to summarize what they say first, and then you will move on to what you want to say. So you will say what that person said. So what you are saying is, using your talk frames, you can use the summarize. <clears throat> and then from there, you will then say your side of it. If it gets too uh, loud, then I will calm it down. We will start with another person. And you may be called on, so please be prepared with what you want to say. All right? I think we are ready to go. We're, we're going to start with someone who is for it. Would anyone like to begin? So we'll have Ricardo. Can you please start the discussion? So we want to answer this question. It's not a question, sorry. You want to, you want to go with the statement that they are good for us and then go with your reasons why. I'm trying to say why this is good for us because in the, in the text it says that um, video games help um, kids um, get a lot of attention. All right. So we have someone on the other side. Go ahead and share yours. Um, so you're saying it. Go back to our seat, and you're going to go to Google Classroom. Okay, 
have your attention. attention. All right. The last part of this. So we read the text. We had our discussion. You the philosophical chairs. We are now going to write an opinion and draw on evidence from the text. So your job would be to reflect on the discussion and text to write your opinion using evidence from the text. That's what's going to be important, is using that evidence, but you can use your personal connections as well. We need examples um, and reasons why you feel the way that you do. The last part is the D-L-I-Q, so what did you do? What did you learn? What interested you and any questions you still have about philosophical chairs, okay?